analysis. Without further ado, let's jump right into today's Calagra market and see what the market has in store for us. So tomorrow is 16th May. Let me just add that first. And before we get started, we'll just talk about what happened today. So this is uh, kind of, uh, today was a relatively, uh, the price action was just like yesterday. We said that, uh, we said the signals are very mixed. We'll, we said we'll see a pause in both indices. We'll wait and watch the price action at 22,300. 22,296 was today's high. If it breaks, we said there's more upside. Otherwise, uh, one to two week view, sorry. I forgot to add the word week here. One to two week view is more upside. Uh, uh, there can be some pauses or dips is what uh, our analysis was yesterday. There is a pause today. There is a dip today. 22,296 was today's high and it retraced. And we also said, why, why were we worried? Because there is a large retail uh, long position, right? So this was our analysis till, uh, yeah, till, uh, uh, yesterday now again i oh, this is not so there is a rejection at 50 dma we, we talked about this we thought this will come and this has come so nifty rejected at 50 dma forming a doji 50 dma forming doji pattern right this is the first thing uh, candlestick pattern, Doji, Dave, uh, and Bank Nifty, also, no, not also not forming Doji. This is a bearish engulfing, but it is taking support at 50 DMA. Bank Nifty forming bearish engulfing, taking support at. 50 DMA, but there is no clear sign of support because there is no rejection, right? Like this is a uh, support. This is how the price got rejected. So now you can see there is a bearish engulfing. This is a bottom. This got rejected. This went up. This is a bearish engulfing pattern, but it is just above. 50 DMA. I can even say it's below 50 DMA. The reason is if you look at zoom in on this, right? It broke 50 DMA first and then went up to retest 50 DMA from below. It's not like it broke 50 DMA from above and came and settled down. It was trading below 50 DMA today. Somehow it clawed back to the 60 DMA level. Price action is not what I'll call strong. This is a bearish engulfing, tiny one, but very bearish engulfing. So uncertainty in both indices a week closing tomorrow means more downside right and uh, now let's look at option chain Ayyo, this is not looking good either lot of calls got added today uh, that you can see it here today's price action is fully calls no puts at all some minor put unwinding but mega call addition call addition at every strike uh, nifty will struggle to break out of 22300 now if you look at uh, pcr it is 0.7 Neutral, but bearish around ATM. Now let's look at FIDI data. This is where things become very bad. FII long 1.2L calls and short long. 4.5 L puts.
DIA long, sorry, uh, pro no calls long two L puts. And you can see it, right? They were they added this change of 1.8L puts and now they are long 2L puts, 1.9L, 2L we'll call it. Client is again doing the degen stuff. 3L calls, oh God. Short calls of 1.27, oh God, no. Short calls, 1.3L, long short puts. So, uh, yeah, short puts. Eight point three five. This is where things become a problem. So they I mean, I don't know what to say because 8 lakh puts client shot cannot end well. This, this this is not good actually, the client being so, let's see what is the futures casino. Oh, brilliant. FIA shot even more, DIA shot even more, uh, Pro, is, Pro is covering their shots, interesting, and client is increasing their longs. Again, Pro shot covering, actually Pro is short covering, FIA adding more shots. FIA adding more shots, pro reducing shots, client adding shots. And now this is the biggest client OI I have seen ever, I think. Now let's look at FIA ka history. 2,833 crore, brilliant, sorry, I mean, uh, 2,000 crore sell, 2,000 crore Futures shorted today. I yo no, this is not good. If I sold two thousand eight hundred crore stocks today, one number we'll do precisely. Short is uncertain. Uh, option chain and FII pro client data looks bearish. Trades uh, trades are very tricky. Till Nifty breaks twenty two three hundred long might not be a good idea. That's all I can say, right? <laughs> Sam is saying Nifty will crash on 4th. 4th of what? 4th of June, 4th of June. Oh, like that 4th, okay. Uh, retail selling put American retail buying game stock. Who is yoloing order? I think we are yoloing order. Uh, <laughs> clients adding long futures. Yes, Rishti, client is adding long futures. Nimish. How can we identify options, open interest in Nifty and Bank Nifty wise? Very tough. Nobody gives that data. Uh, basically, long story short. There might be more dips till then. I'll tell you what, right? What is really, really, really bothering me are two things. 
one is this op 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 option chain it was looking kind of positive yesterday now it's looking clearly negative the other thing which is giving me a headache is this uh, this right this whenever client goes above some eight till and all inputs we all know how it ends it's not a good idea at all so yeah so this is what is really really bothering me i see the thing is this right if nifty doesn't make 22 300 and it is struggling here and tomorrow's close is below so let's say let's assume that tomorrow's close is below today's close there are two three things which will happen one this doji gets confirmed reversal right two this bearish engulfing gets confirmed here reversal right four sorry three this candle and this weekly candle Where is this thing here? <laughs> Bank Nifty's weekly candle is now looking properly weak. Nifty's candle is also not looking too optimistic. So weekly candles the color also will change if there is further downside. Net net. Uh, see, I don't think it will end well for bulls if market goes the struggles to cross twenty to three hundred. My bigger problem is. Let's say the market is going to fall. I don't know what that is going to say about the world economy, local economy, election results, etc. Because somebody knows something that we don't, right? So that is also kind of playing on my head. I don't know what this means. Because see, at the end of the day, smart money knows what is going to happen in the world, right? So yeah. Now Siddesh is asking when to re-enter puts. Uh, yeah, Siddesh, the thing is this, right? Um, it's it's tough if you ask me because if it goes below the channel, for sure, it's a December puts all the way game, right? But as long as it is going to stay above the channel, I don't know if you should re-enter. Like, see, as long as this channel is alive, right? There's a possibility that Nifty might do this. So yesterday we were showing all possible trajectories, right? One is it can go like this. The other is it can go like this. The third possibility is it can go this and then this. As long as it's in the channel, I think it is staying in the channel. But if the channel breaks for sure, we have to rethink world. <laughs> and that breaking level of channel is. Yeah, 22,000, roughly around 22,000 on spot. 22,050 on spot roughly is the level at which channel has said bye bye. So yeah, I don't, I, I think I'll watch that level because till the channel is broken, you can never call the, call it the end. But I'll tell you what, right? Overall, it is not looking strong like it looks strong when it bounced on uh, um, Monday or whenever it bounced, right? When did it bounce? It bounced on Monday, right? Yeah. It, this is not looking like a sustainable bounce. We were talking about it. I had tweeted about this also. It can bounce. We don't know how big the bounce will be. Looks like this bounce's health is in question. I don't think this is a good idea to jump into a trade. I'll wait and watch to see what the daily candle and weekly candle will be. So let me write that also. Uh, wait and watch to get clarity on the weekly candle. This is my summary, right? Um, and while we are here, oh, did I say client? Oh, sorry, client adding shorts. Nice, sorry, here. client adding longs. Right. Thank you so much for correcting. Hello, NFS. Yeah, as Ango was saying, a decisive trade is. A close above 2200 or a close below 22,000, right? So yeah, now, now let me just see my my private digit thing. It is IN10. India government bonds, FTW. Oh my God, this is going up. Today, it has given another uh, high. It's up 100.61. So I don't know if you had uh, listened to me peddling government bonds. I think I first started peddling government bonds 
somewhere around uh, wait let me just see when did i start building youtube.com uh, sensible government bonds my first government bond peddling happened in 10 months back when is 10 months back 10 months back is i don't know i don't know when is 10 months back march or something right so in march <laughs> okay so this is the sovereign gas so uh, march may it was trading at around 93 94 so if you had done this you would have gained like around 7% on capital and 7% interest so government bond is actually up 14% since last march that is like one mega tip <laughs> i think i have given uh, sovereign risk free asset appreciated uh, 6% on capital and around 7% on interest so it's roughly 13 14% we are looking at i don't know if you listened then because i did not listen to what i had said more importantly i didn't have much money back then to you know oh i'm pointing to 2022 march so sorry so sorry i'm incorrect i'm wrong so i peddled it around 98 so only 2% 2% in so sorry thank you for correcting 2% in capital 2 and a half percent 3% in capital and uh, Two and a half, three percent in capital plus seven percent, ten percent, ten percent return uh, on government bonds, uh, risk free in one year, not bad at all. Ten months, not bad at all, right? So yeah, that's that. Uh, it's July, yeah. Oh yeah, it's July. So sorry, sorry. Ten months back. Oh, then I did it entirely wrong, perhaps. Oh, so basically there is nothing, no, no upside, no downside. Roughly at this price only, I said it. So. uh it is uh, 7% return uh, interest only you have made capital has not appreciated much but luckily if you watch this around this point or something then it would have been nice but anyway at least at least it's not down so it's not bad um 7% interest that's not bad at all right but of course if you had invested money in nifty in october 2023 uh, you would have printed like 30 30% almost right so that way nifty has outperformed government bonds significantly so forget about it <laughs> forget i said anything right but anyway keep a watch on this because this thing breaking out has other implications right so this is our analysis for today we'll see you again tomorrow thank you so much for joining and as